Tonight at 11, we take you inside NASA's space shuttle crew compartment trainer. Good evening. I'm Mark Allen. And good evening. I'm Katie Houston. Officials at the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force gave us a sneak peek tonight. Alexa Ashwell is live with the new star in its space gallery in tonight's top story. Alexa. Well, Mark, Katie, you may recall it was a disappointing time when the community learned the museum would not be receiving a retired space shuttle. But back then, officials here made a promise, and that promise was that the community would one day be able to come to the museum and view an amazing space gallery. Well, that begins with the crew compartment trainer, which right now is on display in the Cold War gallery. You are looking inside NASA's crew compartment trainer. In the deck, we have the lockers that we would stow all of our clothing, food, uh, tools, experiments that we were taking to space with us. Most of us would sleep down here uh, each night, string up our sleeping bag somewhere on the floor, wall, ceiling. Flight deck is up above us. That's where the controls are. This mock shuttle is where countless astronauts like Captain Mike Foreman spent hundreds of hours training. Captain Foreman specifically for his trips on Atlantis. I flew on two space shuttle missions, STS-123 in 2008, STS-129 in 2009. Captain Foreman and fellow astronaut Michael Good, both Ohio natives, are a testament to how shuttles like this CCT can inspire young people. My uh, mom and dad brought us down here, brought the family down here, and we got to walk around this place and it got me excited about airplanes and and actually it was one of the things that inspired me to study aerospace engineering in school. And U.S. Congressman Steve Austria says that's one of the main goals in displaying the CCT at the museum to ultimately increase student interest in subjects such as math, science and engineering. When people come here to be able to you know to again touch and feel and get on board this contraption I think gets them excited about it. It gets our students who come here very excited about uh, the opportunity to maybe be an astronaut someday. The CCT is already inspiring young minds like 10-year-old Matthew Pedicky, who always dreamed of becoming a pilot and can't wait to check out this piece of NASA. I think it's cool because I get to see what's inside that um, shadow up there. So right now you can come to the museum and check out the CCT. You just cannot go inside. Officials tell me uh, they need to complete the entire exhibit, which should take about a year before you can do so. Reporting live, Alexa Ashwell, 2 News.